be rad sugar free. Be rad sugar free. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, be rad sugar free. I just joined Gold's Gym. And I just did my first Jim Stepani shortcut to shred workout and it crushed me. <sighs> Feeling good. The workout took about 45 minutes and uh, I'll explain it more in depth here in a minute. I did chest, triceps, abs. So I just wanted to show you uh, the supplements that I purchased. And uh, of course my, my brother-in-law pictured pictured right here is a guy that told me about this program okay he knows a little bit about bodybuilding and how to get in shape so thank you rj3 and these are the supplements that uh, he got me hooked up with of course yesterday in my episode i put the link down below i'll go ahead and do that again today uh the program that i'm doing the shortcut to shred six week program uh jim stepani i got the uh the uh pro gym uh, this is for after your workout is your protein shake uh this is a pre gym this is what you take a scoop before you go kind of get you amped up it's got a bunch of caffeine in it uh, glutamine, I put uh, a half a teaspoon, I put a half a teaspoon of this in my pre-gym shake. And then of course I started off my day with uh, fish oil. And this is made by um, uh, SFH, Super Omega-3 plus D3, whatever. I don't know, I took a half teaspoon of this when I woke up this morning, so. You want to learn more about these products? You know, go to go to go to Google, check it out. So anyway, I'm just to, the six weeks. I'm just gonna do a scoop a day of, of each of these. You know, what's recommended? They say a fourth of a teaspoon on the glutamine, but I went ahead and did a half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do it once a day uh, before my workout. But anyways, I got in there and it it crushed me. Okay, I started off with bench press. I basically haven't lifted weights in, in 10 years. Um, I started off with a bench press and uh, with 15 pound uh, free weight uh, weights, 15 pounds in each hand, uh, straight on my back. And I did 11, uh, 11 reps. And I really, I wanted to do less weight because it's the first time I've worked out in a long time. So you guys haven't been to the gym in a long time. Don't kill yourself. I mean, don't do not do too much weight in the beginning. But anyway, I did less weight, but I did a lot of resistance. So when I would go up, I would really take my time coming back down and got the, the full uh, you know resistance training in there as well. As soon as I'd get done with the 11 reps, I would stand up and I would kind of do running in place kind of with my knees going kind of like where you're, where you're popping your knees on your legs. I did that for a minute. I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. Well, after I did my next 11 uh, reps on my back with the bench press, I'm like, I started doing the leg, the high leg kicks again. And at 30 seconds, I thought I was gonna pass out. So I, I got to 45 seconds. And Jim Stepani talks about that. He's like, listen, you know, in the beginning, don't kill yourself. So I did 45 seconds the, the rest of the way through those uh, four different sets. So I did two on my back and then the next two uh, sets of chest, I did, uh, I think it's a military press where you're, you know, you're at a, you're at a slant, slanted bench. So I did my last two sets with that. And then I moved uh, to triceps and I just had the, the rope that's hanging. You know, I wanna make sure that you're you want to make sure that your uh, elbows, you know, are, are straight down, you know, by your side and you kind of isolate them. And really you can feel the burn in your triceps. I did four sets of that. I didn't change that up. I just did the rope four times and I did, uh, I did a minute uh, after the first set of running in place with the high leg kicks. And then uh, I did 45 seconds after each other one. Then the last part of the workout I did, uh, I did leg lifts. I laid straight on my back and I lifted my legs about this far off the ground. And honestly, I made it 30 seconds on the first one. 
uh, got up, did the did the uh, running in place. The second one, uh, the second set, I did 45 seconds. And then the last two, the most I could do is like 20 seconds of leg lifts. So it was brutal, man. I know when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna be dying. My legs are gonna be killing me. My abs are gonna be killing me, my chest. But it felt good getting in there. And of course I joined Gold's Gym. You know, I got the uh, tour of the gym. Uh, I live here in Claremont, Florida, so I think I paid $69 down and I'm paying $19 a month. And uh, that doesn't have a contract to it. Of course, they give you the full tour. They tell you about, you know, doing personal training. You know, everybody's program's better than the one you tell them you're gonna do. So, you know, whatever program you come up with, you know, it doesn't have to be this program. Do the research. Uh, there's so much of it online, but really figure out what you wanna do, you know, what part of your body you wanna build up and go do it. Hey guys, one thing I did was, is I took some pictures today of uh, starting the six week program uh, to kind of have a baseline of where I started and what I'm gonna look like after the six weeks. So here's the pictures. Now, <clears throat> Taking off my shirt and putting them on the internet is not exactly what I call a fun time. Here's what I looked like on March 2nd when I quit eating sugar and grains and I was fat and I was tired of the way I felt and looked. Now, I didn't have my shirt off during this time. You're welcome, internet. So, you know, can't wait to see what I look like. I don't know, I don't know, I'd like to hear from you guys if I should take pictures every week of the transformation or maybe I'll do every two weeks, I'll take a picture. I'll definitely take a picture after the six week mark. So let me give you some stats. Uh, on March 2nd, I started at 240 pounds and um, I now weigh 196 pounds. I'm six foot tall and I'm 41 years old. Uh, the most important thing is, no matter where you're at in your weight loss journey, is stay away from the sugar and grains. Keep it B-Rad sugar free. I love you sugarless freaks. Until we meet again.